direction. Amen. We cannot make this journey on our own. Amen. Because we will get hurt. We will get disgusted. We will get wounded. Amen. Because we're looking in the wrong perspective. Amen. And because of that, it will cause us to take on our attitude. It'll cause our spirit to get wounded and we'll become disgruntled and we'll get deeply wounded. And like I said, the only person that can heal and deliver at that level is God. Amen. Because the wound gets so deep. Hallelujah. Because we have looked to man. Amen. And man will hurt you. Amen. Man will disappoint you. Amen. So we don't need to put man above God. Amen. We need to keep man at a certain level, at a certain place, but we need to keep God ahead and make him number one always. He needs to be number one always, irregardless of whatever's going on. It doesn't make any difference. God needs to stay number one in our lives. Hallelujah. All right, so that's my word for today, amen. I pray that it has encouraged your heart and edified your spirit, amen. Yes, hallelujah, Amanda, good seeing you. So good, yes, yes, someone. Yes, yes, amen to God first in everything we do. Yes, yes, my sister Sonia said that. Yes, so we need to make sure that God stays number one in everything that we do. And you know what? And it's easy. It's easy to trust people. It's easy to trust our loved ones. It's easy to trust our friends. It's easy to trust, you know, people that are making promises and hopes and, and